You might like the fact that I have rain in the forecast for the first time in a couple weeks, yeah, actually. It's been a while, so I have actually two rain chances. Your evening plans are all good tonight, but you'll see on Sky Tracker Doppler radar coming in out of the southwest. That's where we'll see the clouds and eventually the rain increase. So there's two chances. One is going to come tonight into tomorrow. It's a good bet for rain tomorrow morning to early afternoon. The second is going to come from this cold front, and that front could produce a strong to possibly severe storm. It is the reason why we're in the lowest level one severe threat. Again, this is not until Wednesday and we're in that low threat because we're still uncertain if we're going to get enough storm fuel out of this. I think we're going to see showers. I just don't know if the storm intensity will rise to a severe threat. The isolated severe threat again, not until Wednesday. It's a first alert weather day because of that and we can adjust these. These first alert weather days are just to draw your attention to a day when we want you paying attention. But if we come out of this risk, then we'll pull the first alert weather day right now. The timing would be morning to early afternoon and again may not have enough storm fuel. I'll show you hour by hour in the super predictor what it's looking like, but you don't have to worry about it right now. This evening looking great and right now from the BJC Skycam Network. Beautiful look at the arch blue skies. 82 record is 92, so we're not record territory, but the normal 72. We're well above that. We have some changes coming because of the clouds and the rain. It's going to knock the temperatures down, so it'll be a cooler day, not as warm tomorrow. So let's track that rain. Here we go. Eight o'clock. We're dry. This is super predictor. We'll go hour by hour overnight. So this is at 3 a.m. Start to see some showers. You can get a rumble of thunder, nothing strong or severe, but it's certainly possible out of this. Most of these are just showers, though. Notice the temperature, 60. It was a couple days ago, Saturday morning, we were dealing with frost in outlying areas. Now we have a high of 80s today and the morning low 60. So it's kind of milder in the morning. But the clouds and the rain don't allow that temperature to warm up much during the day, so the high is only going to be 70. And you can see how we get smothered by some of that rain in the morning. There's 10 a.m. But, man, it's been dusty out. This is going to help tap down a lot of that dust. So nice to have some showers in the forecast. Pretty widespread. 70 degrees, cooler day. Not cool, but just cooler. Clouds and rain may linger into the afternoon, but they tend to break up towards the evening commute. This is 6 o'clock, but we're not 100% done. I still think there's going to be an isolated shower here or there. This is at 6 o'clock, and here's 11 o'clock throughout the evening evening. So most of the rain tomorrow is going to be that morning to early afternoon. We're at 60 in the morning, just 65 at noon, still with scattered showers. By 3 o'clock, maybe a spot shower, 70 for the high. Winds aren't too strong out of the south at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Still have that spot shower in the forecast in the evening there at 6 o'clock. Now, let's go into Wednesday. That's when we could see a stronger storm, but let me explain why we may not have enough storm fuel. So we're going overnight Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Widespread showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. This is 8 a.m. That may sap up a lot of the storm fuel. So by the time this develops, the storms may not be strong enough. I still think from about St. Louis to the southeast, as that front comes through during that late morning to early afternoon, let's keep an eye on it. It's the reason why we have that first alert weather day. Nice to see some rain in the forecast, though. Most are going to be a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch, but there could be some spots that get a little over an inch of rain. That's combined, by the way, Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday's the first alert weather day. High of 71 degrees. We'll keep you posted if that does change because it is, does look like a low risk. And then dry and cooler. Highs in the 60s Thursday, Friday. The Blues home opener, season Ooh. opener Saturday. A slight chance for a shower maybe coming out of Enterprise. Saturday night into Sunday has a slim chance with another cold front that goes